there are some web browsers that are a, a no-go and some that will work and access all of our content uh, that teachers might throw at you within the college. Okay? So the two most reliable is uh, Google Chrome and uh, most recently uh, Microsoft Edge. So I'm just going to select English, but I'm looking for English UK. There we go, English UK. Accept and download. So I've already uh, installed Google Chrome and I'm going to show you how to do that. It's set up, I want to run Microsoft Edge Setup. A little pop-up will come up on your screen. It takes away from the video, so I can't show it to you right now. Uh, but it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? The change being you're going to have Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome. So you will need to select yes to allow for that update to run. And, my, and Microsoft Edge is downloading. Similarly, you might open Internet Explorer, which is what I'm downloading Microsoft Edge from now. And in the top, you might just select Google Chrome or search Google Chrome. And then you'll have the option to download Google Chrome. Download now. Now, you might already have these items. So it's always, always, always really good practice just to search. I can see that it's an app on my computer uh, already. So if I type in Edge... It's a Microsoft recommended browser, but it's, it hasn't shown me the new one because it's currently installing, you know. So I'll just go back up here, installing Microsoft Edge. Okay, so Edge is finished downloading and I wanted to show you a couple of things about Google Chrome and Edge. You do not need to have both for starters. You only need one of these browsers. So I'm just going to show you Google Chrome, I personally uh, prefer Google Chrome. It's frequently updated, so I know that it's got the latest tech and links. Uh, but also, we're a Google for Education school, so we do have access to a massive suite of Google products that, as you would, uh, as you would think, will run better on a Google product, which is Google Chrome. Now, one of the things that I suggest uh, when downloading a new browser is to actually sign in to the browser. This allows you to carry all your bookmarks across. So let's say something were to happen to your device and you needed a new device, but you had you know, all of your passwords or all of your um, bookmarks. You were organized. So by logging in, to Google Chrome, so using the little profile person up here and logging in using your at cns.catholic and making sure that the sync is on. This will allow you to carry all of your uh, bookmarks and passwords across devices. The similar thing with Edge, you can select sign in, which I will do. It is a work or school account because you're using your at cns STU email. So I'll be using a student email to demonstrate. Again, we'll just need to do this once. This is also a thing like if you log into the browser, then you're not repeatedly signing in over and over again. Now, when it says allow organization to manage my device, you're not allowing me to, or anyone, to uh, go in and manage your device. That's not what that means. It means that by signing in, we're going to give you some really good uh, resources on your bookmarks. So favorite tabs like the school portal, for example, straight away. 
that's what that is doing. You must accept the conditions of use. But so then when I go up here, give it a moment, it'll give me the option to sync. I'm using a student account here, so I'm going to say no thanks to that. I don't want to sync. However, you would sync. And uh, as an example, when I select the profile picture, you'll see that not syncing and to turn on the sync. So for you to actually utilize the benefits of having logged in to the browser, you need to have that sync on. If you're going to add a personal account, I highly uh, advise against it, uh, mostly because you'll find that sometimes it your applications that you log into, like Canvas, might glitch if you have forgotten to switch back to your school account. So this is a school device, so you treat it like a work or school device and therefore you would only really need your actual uh, school email logged in. These are some of the benefits. I personally recommend using Chrome, however, I understand uh, that you, are, you have options, you know, so uh, that is entirely uh, your personal choice. However, it is with practice and uh, with trial and error that we can confidently say Google Chrome, uh, definitely Microsoft Edge, see how you go. And I do think it is still a good platform um, and it is current. However, your Safari's you know, Internet Explorer, or Firefox, which I don't even think they make anymore. Um, these are no-goes and you will find that you'll have many more issues with those browsers at, with, within any subject.